this last year of lockdowns and closed chapels has really given us all with uh, opportunity to listen to some excellent ministry online. One of my favourites to listen to is Alistair Begg and his Truth For Life podcasts. A few months ago, though, he put something out online saying that he didn't want people watching his live stream sermons when they should be listening to their own pastor. And I have to be honest, I would prefer to listen to him rather than listen to myself. But as he points out, the pastor of the local church is the one that God has given to that local church to declare to that local church God's truth. I also recently read a great article by Stuart Olliott. It's in the latest Evangelical Times, and I have a copy of that if you wish to borrow it. In that article, he addresses a similar issue. But pastor's preaching is just so boring. You know, we pastors are very much aware that, as Mr. Olliott puts it, we can be a pretty dull lot. Like everyone in the congregation, we're just sinners saved by grace who are also growing in grace. But every pastor I know, me included, we spend hours not just wrestling with scripture for every sermon, but also wrestling with how to present that scripture to our listeners for every sermon. And we do feel it every time those folk who never have anything good to say about our preaching wax lyrical about that recent visiting preacher. Now, I'm not fishing for compliments here. I'm really not. I get some wonderful feedback on my preaching. And actually, if we are to have visiting preachers, I don't want us just making do with whoever we can get. I want us to have the very best that we can get. But the truth is, some of you have heard me preach three times a week for the last 11 years. It's a long time and familiarity can be dangerous. I know that because my whole life before I came here was spent in one church under the same pastor. So 30 years, over 30 years of listening to the same man, week in, week out. But pastor's preaching is so dull. The truth is, yes, I am a pretty dull person and my words are pretty dull. But if that's all you're hearing when I'm preaching, then there is something wrong. And what's wrong might not be wrong with me. Let me explain what I mean by that. And I'm using the Stuart Ollier article that I referred to here. Consider Ephesians 2.17. And he, the Lord Jesus Christ, came and preached peace to you who were afar off and to those who were near. Think about that. Paul is writing to the Gentile church of Ephesus. That's a place the Lord Jesus Christ never went anywhere near to. He's writing to this church decades after the Lord Jesus Christ has returned to heaven. Yet what does he say to the believers in the church at Ephesus? He tells them that Christ came and preached peace to them. What Paul is saying is that when he came to them, when he opened his mouth and when he preached to them, it was in fact the Lord Jesus Christ who was speaking. He was a vessel and the Lord Jesus Christ was speaking through him. And after he left and entrusted uh, those elders that he had appointed to continue that ministry, they too were vessels that the Lord Jesus Christ continued to speak through to his church in Ephesus. You know, the truth is, Paul was sometimes accused of being a bad preacher. Some people would say about him that his preaching was just so boring. In 2 Corinthians uh, 10, verse 10, we see that his words were considered contemptible by some. And he could send people to sleep. Just think of Acts 20, verse 9, and poor old Eutychus. The point here is that the man in the pulpit, though, is just an instrument. And Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Spirit, is the one who preaches his word to his people as that instrument stands in the pulpit and faithfully declares what God has given him as he has studied. Now think about that, because we read that as the Lord Jesus Christ preached, people were amazed. They couldn't get enough of it. They would sit all day under his ministry till they were faint with hunger. They couldn't get enough of hearing the Lord Jesus Christ as he taught them. My friends, as I preach to you, if you're just hearing my voice, 
then perhaps you're listening wrong. But if you are just hearing my voice, then yes, it is going to be pretty dull. But there is another voice that you should be hearing. There is another voice that should be there as I stand up to declare the truth of God's word from the pulpit. That's the voice of the Lord Jesus Christ. And if you listen for it, and if you expect it, if you pray for it, if you work hard to discern it, it can be heard. It really can be heard. And it will be like he is speaking to you, just you, directly to you. It will be personal and it will be challenging and it will be life changing. You will never be the same again because no one is ever the same again after an encounter with the Lord Jesus Christ. So this coming Sunday, come prepared. Use this week to get ready. Come prepared, not to hear the dull old pastor that you've heard countless times, but to encounter the living Lord Jesus Christ, whose words have life-giving, direction-altering power and authority. For the Christian, his voice is never boring. Amen. Thank you.